Forestry Commission. Am I happy? Yes, I need to get a burn permit. Well, it is uh, my personal favorite time of the year. March 15th is a pretty good time, but for me, I, I kind of like that, that before time when we get to get do some projects and stuff here in February. So it's, it's February 13th right now. We got a beautiful sunny day. It's been raining the past few days, but um, got a good burn day. So fired up about that. Me and Jordan come out here to try to, try to light some stuff on fire. This is one of the, my favorite parts of, of managing property. And um, it's fun to be able to do it, but uh, got to be careful. We got our burn permit this morning, which is which is a first step in case anything gets out of hand. But we should be good today. But um, what we got here, we got a destination field we put in. It's roughly about 10, 10 to 11 acres, but we got some early succession stuff going on that we didn't destump yet. Um, but we got a not pretty good stand with the little rain we got this year of wheat and oats and some little clover out there. But what we're going to do, we're going to burn both sides of this place between this big field and our lake down there we have about 75 acres um, big block mostly all pines uh, we ran a fire through it two years ago we skipped it last year we're gonna run a fire through it today and then on the other side of the field we're gonna do the same thing it's gonna be roughly 80 acres on that side as well um, we got a nice little fire lane uh, my, my good hand Jordan Blissett ran through there so uh, and we have a little clover plot down there that's kind of starting up this year kind of trying to see how it does and um and yeah so we're gonna run a fire from that fire lane to this field so at the end of the day we should have two big burn blocks on both sides of this destination plot that obviously turkeys are already using so march 15th should be a fun one So we, we lit this thing downwind. We'd love to have a back and fire kind of burn slow through there, but all the moisture we've had the past few days, a lot of rain. So if it don't burn this way, we'll go burn it upwind. It's not a big wind. It's like seven miles an hour, so we should be good. But hopefully she takes off. How long have you been burning, Logan? Uh, three years now. And a good buddy, Reed Taylor, came out here the first first time I burned and uh, kind of showed me that it's nothing to be scared of. and. Uh, so then, I mean, between that and YouTube, honestly, a man can learn to do a lot. So um, it's not as hard as you think. It's really not. It's, as long as you got good fire lanes and pay attention to stuff that's going on, you'll be just fine. Well, we're about to uh, get some chestnuts in the ground. Recently, I've kind of learned about the importance of chestnuts and kind of their, how they're so appealing to not just deer, but turkeys as well. But so I said, why not try them? Can't hurt to plant more trees. So where we're putting them is, uh, I'm just cut my finger off right there. We got this food plot we kind of created. It was old loading dock. Kind of made it about three times the size of what the loading dock was before and um created a nice little food plot on top of this hill we got a bottom right there across the bottom we got another little clover field and a little clover field we're trying to get going so our, our our goal here is get a strip of chufa here 
eventually. And then we have these five chestnuts going in. And then right here on top of this hill, Lord willing, we'll have a good stand of clover. And um, and then come come fall, we'll have a nice, some type of fall blend in here as well. And got something for everybody. So big buffet, that's what we're trying to create. Bunch of buffets. Well, we, uh, it's taking a while, but we finally got a good flame going. We got, this part we're burning right here is really just like a little, I think it's about an eight acre, nine acre little island right in between three of our main fields in the center of the property. So um, I think next summer, this is actually gonna be a clear cut replant, but for now we're gonna light it up and I'm hoping it'll be like a little center point between these three fields where turkeys will hang out during the middle of the day, but we'll see. We got a good flame on it right now. We're gonna uh, stay at it. Hopefully this thing burns all the way through this little this little island pretty good. This has just been a good slow burn all day. And there's a lot of benefits to burning, a lot of timber stuff that I'm not educated a ton enough about to tell you about. But the reason I like it is these turkeys have come in here, a little bit of scratching, and they're already a bare dirt compared to having to dig through all the thick layer of pine straw that's usually there. We burned most all that down. A little fresh stuff on here is probably kind of damp, but yeah, just a little scratching and there in the dirt. Hopefully this uh, is filled up soon. Well, uh, we're just sitting here watching the last bit of the flame kind of die out of this fire lane right here. Got a little coot man in here and he, uh, he likes watching the fire too, so future pyromaniac probably. But uh, yeah, all in all, pretty good day of burning. We uh, we got pretty much everything we wanted to get burned burned today. Again, it's still early. We got more more good burn days coming up. So is that a good day? Pretty good day. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, hopefully next time we see y'all, we'll be yelping at a turkey. See you.